Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on hydrostatic forces on surfaces. So in this video, we are going to solve a problem about the forces applied by two immiscible liquids on the surface of the tank. So first, I will read what is the given problem. A tank contains water up to a height of 0.5 meter above the base. An immiscible liquid of specific gravity 0.8 is filled on the top of water up to 1 meter height. Calculate total pressure on one side of the tank. The position of center of pressure for one side of tank which is 2 meter wide. So this was the given question. Now let us first understand the construction diagram as per the given data. Now here it is given that some liquid is there up to a height of 1 meter and the water is also there up to a height of 0.5 meter. Now these liquids are immiscible that means they are not mixing with each other and they form a layer. So here is the layer we will say point D at this particular point that that forms the layer in between these two liquids now we will understand the given data we will consider here the suffix one for the liquid and we will consider the suffix two for the water so what is the depth of water so depth of water is 0.5 meter we will use here the suffix two that is it is h2 then what is the depth of liquid that is equal to 1 meter so suffix 1 is there therefore h1 is equal to 1 meter then the specific gravity of this liquid is given so for this liquid specific gravity s is equal to 0.8 is given so from that we can calculate the density so density at this point one that is row one is equal to 0.8 into 1000 that is equal to 800 kilogram per meter cube so what is the density of water that we should know the value so row 2 is equal to 1000 kilogram per meter cube that we have to consider then the width of the tank that is equal to 2 meter is given and we have to find out what is the total pressure on one side so how to calculate this total pressure on one side so for that we have to draw the pressure diagram so to draw the pressure diagram if we observe here we will consider the three particular points uh, for this tank containing two immiscible liquids now we will consider the point a which is open to atmosphere and it is at the free surface of this liquid then we will consider the point d which is in between the two layers of this water and liquid and then we will consider the point b which is at the bottom of the tank now we will find out the pressure intensity at these three particular points and we will draw the pressure diagram so how to draw so i will first take the intensity of pressure at the top that is at point a so this point a is open to atmosphere so intensity of pressure is equal to zero so we will say pa is equal to zero now the next point is point d now if we observe at this point d or above this point the only liquid is there for a height of one meter so what is the intensity of pressure at this point d that is the pressure force is getting applied by this liquid only or at this point in. so we will we know the formula that is rho g h but here the suffix one is there that is rho one g h one so here when we put the value rho one eight hundred into nine point eighty one into h one is equal to one so we will get the answer seven eight four eight newton per meter square so we will plot here these two points that is the pressure points so how to plot so at this point a the pressure is zero so there is we will consider here one point only now at this point d 7848 newton per meter square so we will draw here one line for this value 7848 so we will consider here the particular scale also so for this 7848 newton per meter square uh, we can take here the length up to this 7.8 centimeter so if i take here up to a 7.8 centimeter length or approximately we can take this length so this is the point 
प्रेशर एट दिस पॉइंट ई सो इफ वी एक्सटेंड दिस वी कैन से हियर एज ए पॉइंट ई सो दिस इज द प्रेशर एट दिस पॉइंट ई सो दिस इज द लाइन फॉर द प्रेशर और दिस डायमेंशन फॉर दिस प्रेशर दैट इज सेवन एट फोर एट न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर नाउ वी विल मूव फॉर द नेक्स्ट दैट इज द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ प्रेशर एट पॉइंट पी नाउ अबाउ दिस पॉइंट बी देयर इज द लेयर ऑफ लिक्विड एज वेल एज वॉटर ऑल्सो दैट इज दिस टू लिक्विड्स आर एप्लाइंग फोर्स ऑन दिस पॉइंट बी सो वी हैव टू एड द प्रेशर्स ऑफ दिस टू लिक्विड्स ड्यू टू दिस टू लिक्विड सो वॉट इज दिस लिक्विड वन दैट इज रो वन जी एच वन प्लस रो टू जी एच टू सो नाउ रो वन जी एच वन वी हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड सो वी कैन राइट हियर एज इट इज प्लस रो टू जी एच टू सो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ रो टू जी एच टू दैट इज वन थाउजेंड इंटू नाइन पॉइंट एट्टी वन इंटू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सो इट्स अ आंसर इज फोर नाइन जीरो फाइव सो नाउ वी हैव टू एड दिस इन दिस सो हाउ टू ड्रॉ हियर दिस लाइन सो पी बी दैट इज द प्रेशर एट दिस पॉइंट बी इज इक्वल टू सेवन एट फोर एट सो आई विल ड्रॉ हियर द लेंथ इज इक्वल टू डी ई सो इफ आई ड्रॉ हियर वन पर्टिकुलर लेंथ इक्वल टू डी ई दैट इज इक्वल टू सेवन एट फोर एट नाउ After that, we have to draw for this four nine zero five. So we can take here four point nine centimeter or approximately five centimeter. So I will extend here. This is the line. So I will draw here. This is the point E. Then here will be the point F, and here will be the point G. So these three points are getting selected. Now this pressure diagram we have to complete it. So how to complete it? So I will just join these points. Now we know that D E is equal to B F. So we have to join these two points. So here is the point F, and then again we have to join this point E to the point G. so this is the pressure diagram we have to calculate the total pressure when the width of the tank is given 2 meter so how to calculate that so this is the pressure diagram so we will add the pressures getting applied at different areas so if we observe this is the area a d e plus area D E F B plus area E F G. So this is the total pressure diagram. That is the addition of three shapes. So we will consider here the different forces that are getting applied with these different shapes. So for this first triangle, we will consider here the force F one that is getting applied. For the second shape, that is D E F B. This is the rectangle, and force F two is getting applied. And for the third shape, that is the triangle efg here the force f3 is getting applied so for the calculation of total force we have to add the forces on these three shapes that is f1 plus f2 plus f3 so we will move for the calculation of the force f1 so how to calculate this so force f1 means what this area of triangle ade multiplied by the width because the tank width is given that is 2 meter so what is the area of triangle ade that is half multiplied by this base multiplied by height that is half into de multiplied by ad so what is this de so de is equal to 7848 because this horizontal line indicates the pressure intensity in newton per meter square so here we have to write here 7848 into half into ad ad is equal to this 1 meter now multiplied by the width of the tank so when we make here the calculation we will get the answer 7848 newton now again we will move for the next for the calculation of force f2 so again for the force f2 here we have to multiply here this area area d e f b multiplied by the width so what is the area of this rectangle so rectangle area we know that this length b f multiplied by height d p so what is this b f that is again 7848 multiplied by d b so what is this d p that is equal to 0.5 multiplied by the width 
सो अगेन वी विल टेक हियर जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इंटू सेवन एट फोर एट इंटू टू दैट इज इक्वल टू सेवन एट फोर एट न्यूटन नाउ अगेन वी विल मूव फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ फोर्स एफ थ्री अप्लाइड ऑन दिस ट्रैंगल ई एफ जी सो अगेन वॉट इज द एरिया ऑफ ट्रैंगल दैट इज हाफ मल्टीप्लाइड बाय बेस इंटू हाइट सो वॉट इज बेस एफ जी दैट इज फोर नाइन जीरो फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाय ई एफ सो ई एफ इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सो This half into F G into F multiplied by the width of the tank that is two. So when we make here calculation, we will get the answer two four five two point five newton. So these are the forces F one, F two, and F three. So what is the total force? So total force that is F is equal to F one plus F two plus F three, and that is equal to eighteen thousand one forty eight point five newton. And this is the answer of the first question. Now we will move for the second question that is the center of pressure. So what is the center of pressure? That is the point of application of the total force F. So for that we have to first take the force F is the resultant of three forces. That is F one plus F two plus F three. So this resultant of these three forces we will apply one rule. That is. we can say that the sum of moments of all the forces which is equal to the moment of resultant that is moment of force f which is equal to moment of f1 plus moment of f2 plus moment of f3 so how to find out the moment of these three forces so we will say that this f1 multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the free surface of this liquid so we will take the perpendicular distance from this free surface of this liquid here so how to consider this perpendicular distance so here f1 multiplied by so first we will consider here the what is the center of this triangle ade so we know that here this height is getting divided into two parts that is here 2 by 3 ad and here remaining 1 by 3 ad So, what is the distance from the free surface of liquid? That is from point A. That is, this perpendicular distance is two by three AD. So, we have to take here F one multiplied by two by three AD. Now, we will move for this next next force F two. So, again, we have to find out what is the perpendicular distance from this free surface of the liquid. So, what is this distance? Total distance F two is the point of application. So here, this point of application of this F two is at the middle point of this rectangular shape. So, if we observe, we have to add this whole side AD plus. Now here, middle point of this BD that is here zero point five by two. So we have to take this. So we can say that this AD plus half BD multiplied by F two. Now again we will move for the force F three. So for this point of application of this force F three, we have to consider here this total distance that is from this point A up to this point. So if we observe here again here the center of this triangle, that is this height E F is getting divided into two parts. So how to? That is two by three E F and here one by three E F. Now we have to take the distance from the top. That means we have to add this two by three E F. So we can write here F three multiplied by this A D plus two by three E F. So when we put the values, so here this is the sum of moments of all forces, which is equal to moment of resultant means what? So resultant force is F, and here. the point of application of this resultant from this top we will consider here as a h dash so f into h dash we have to write this on the other side now we will put now if we observe here all the values are known so that ad then bd so length this lengths are already known f1 f2 f3 is also known and f is also known so only one uh, remaining unknown term that is h dash so if we put all the values here Then we will get the answer. So I will read here. F is equal to eighteen thousand one eight forty eight point five into h dash, which is equal to F one seven thousand eight forty eight into two by three into one. AD is equal to one plus F two. That is seven thousand eight forty eight into 
ad plus half bd that is ad 1 plus half that is 1 by 2 into bd so bd is equal to 0 0.5 plus f3 so f3 is 2452 2.5 into ad ad is 1 plus 2 by 3 ef so 2 by 3 into ef so what is ef ef is equal to this 0 0.5 so when we calculate this we will get the value of h dash is equal to 1.009 meter from the top so this is the answer